This one is, am I the astronaut for changing my boyfriend's contact name to his actual name? I would like to stay anonymous so I won't give names, just approximate ages. My boyfriend, 30-ish, and I, female, 30-ish, have been together for almost two years. Our relationship is in no way perfect, but when it's good, it's great, and when it's bad, it's terrible. Often he gets in bouts of extreme frustration and anger and storms out, saying he's done and doesn't want to be with me anymore. It's happened a lot over a two-year period. I'm not saying that I'm perfect in any way, absolutely not. I have my own issues, but I digress. A couple of weeks ago, I went out with friends I hadn't seen in years due to them moving out of state. I decided not to drive because I was unsure of the parking situation and didn't want the added responsibility of drinking and driving, so I Ubered. I let my boyfriend know when I got into the Uber and shortly after when I got to the bar. He was doing his own thing and just sent a thumbs up indicating he got my message. I enjoy my night with friends and I indulge a little. Not to the point where I was fall down drunk, slurring my words, but I had a happy buzz with a smile ear to ear. I made sure to drink water constantly to make sure I stayed hydrated. My girlfriend that was visiting from out of town decided she wanted to visit one of her old stomping grounds, seeing as we were pretty close, so we went to bar number two, which I informed my boyfriend about, only to get an okay. I was there maybe an hour before I decided I had had enough and wanted to go home. Didn't have one drink at bar number two. I inform my boyfriend and call him when I walk in saying I'm home, that I had a fun night with my friends, etc. He completely flips out saying he hates when I go out and drink because I don't know when to stop and that I always get drunk. And he can't trust me if I'm out drinking like I'm a dringle. Dringle? Not even a word! <laughs> How can he trust me if I'm out drinking like I am a drunk single girl? That turned into dringle for me somehow. <laughs> uh, ladies, next time you're at the bar and you get you get happy buzz drunk, just start telling people you're dringle. They'll figure it out eventually. That he can't do this anymore. He puts up with so much and he won't tolerate me making him look bad. Mm, there's the line. Remember that line. He won't tolerate me making him look bad. He came to my house in the middle of the night, still arguing and started to record me in his words to show me in the morning so I can see how I act when I'm drunk. I told him he was being narcissistic and manipulative to act like an adult and just talk to me. He ended up packing up all of his stuff and left. I thought he was done. Hell, I thought I was done. I changed his contact from the pet name that he was always saved as to his given name instead. Obviously, we didn't stay broken up. We talked and said that we were going to continue continue to try blah blah blah. Fast forward to the other day when he noticed his contact name was no longer his pet name. He immediately said that was a red flag and that I was gaslighting him because I changed his name after he came to pick up his stuff, but he only did that because of what I initially did, acting like a drunk single girl or dringle. I've been in school for the past year, so I really haven't been going out all that often. In the past year, I can confidently say I've gone out three times total with friends while he is not around. Every time my boyfriend and I have always gotten into fights for one thing or another. He always says I don't respect him in our relationship when I go out or that I want to act like a drunk single girl. I don't know what to do anymore. I'm not perfect in any way, but I don't think my actions are completely terrible. Am I the astronaut? Okay, so first of all, that being being like the one thing that's asked about here kind of concerns me, honestly, OP, um, because you've obviously got a guy here who is projecting everything onto you. If you have given him no reason to be concerned whenever you go out without him, then he's got no reason to be concerned. So either he's carrying things from previous relationships with him or what I think is more likely based on his behavior is that he's projecting his problems onto you. His problems mean meaning he doesn't know how to control himself whenever he goes out. He doesn't know how to not act like a drunk single dude, or that'd still be a dringle, drunken single, dringle. He doesn't know how to not be a dringle dude, and he doesn't know how to keep it in his pants. That's what, that's the vibe that I get from this, is that he, if he just automatically flips out on you every single time you go out without him and has these severe of trust issues, either he's been severely damaged in the past by relationships where, where he was cheated on, or he's been the cheater. Typically, if people are projecting things onto you like that, it's because they themselves feel them. That's why it's projection. That's the vibe I get here. So, no. You change his name to whatever the F you want his name to be changed to. That's your private property. You you guys were, you thought you were done. You should have been done. I am, I'm concerned that you went back for this. This is one of those toxic relationships that never reaches stability. And guess what? Stability for a relationship is a huge deal. When you have a toxic relationship like this, it makes everything else in your life so much more difficult. You can't focus at work. You can't focus whenever you're trying to have time with your friends. It, it puts a dark cloud over everything in your life. Maybe it's exciting because there's always shit going down, 
but this is toxic and this will not last. I'm sorry to tell you. And you will find so much more peace and happiness once you get yourself away from this toxic relationship. And you're not the asshole for changing your boyfriend's contact name. You might be the asshole to yourself if you stay and allow this shit, this toxic cycle to continue. Respect yourself more than that and find someone who truly loves you and doesn't project their bullshit onto you. You will be so much happier when you do.